All right, hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're gonna do another whipping shot here with Diamond Art Club's So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. We're about around here. Yeah, just the beginning of the window kind of thing. So we're down here. All right, uh, square drill. 22 inches by 43 inches, 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters. Yeah, square drill. Okay, 53 colors, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB from Diamond Art Club. All right, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I don't want to see eggs until like tomorrow or whatever. I must have broke like hundreds of eggs today at work on my part time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Surprised I don't have nightmares about eggs. It's like, wow. Okay, 814. Uh, down arrow? Okay, still have a few more. Oh man. It was busy at the restaurant today, I can tell you that. Wow. Yeah, I'm still alive. I've just been uh, working. <laughs> For sure. Oh, that is not a downer. Okay. Oh, there's down arrows spread out here. Okay, so these are red book, blue book, part of another red book, uh, part of the window here. Uh, books in the background here. Yep, yeah, so It's basically the background here uh, 814 okay down arrows. Okay, I'll start here For down arrows here, so I don't miss any because it is a little spread out here. Oh There's a nice little color block there. Oh, there's a lot more of this uh, Color on here than I thought First thought. Okay. Well, hopefully, I don't miss any. <laughs> yeah, it's probably been a few days, but yeah. Yeah, pretty windy today, but it is nice outside. Yeah, Canada flag is holding on for dear life to the flagpole. I'm surprised it hasn't torn off. Wow, that is quite a wind. <laughs> Uh, the pl power did flicker quite a bit yesterday because we had high winds yesterday as well. So it never went out though, so which is just weird. Power usually flickers, then it goes out, but not this time around. It seems so. No, oh, uh, knock on wood that it will just be fine but yeah it's a bright sunny day but yeah the power can go out if it's windy enough around here there are plenty of trees that just want to rage quit half the time that are older um, decay but they're still standing Okay, let's go in the center of the book here, just to... Make sure... Don't miss any. Yeah, it was just a really busy breakfast hour at the restaurant today. Wow. <sighs> I think one order had like 10 or so eggs like on the sandwiches, like separate sandwiches, <laughs> not just one. <laughs> oh, it's just, wow, that was just insane. Okay. Down arrows there. 
Oh, there's even some down arrows up there, but yeah, just do this and then the color block, so. Oh, excuse me, wow. <laughs> Really digging that Justin Timberlake Drown song off of his new album. <laughs> Just, wow. I have to listen to it a couple times at work because uh, co workers have Spotify and then we have a Bluetooth speaker. So, yeah, it's like, can we play that Justin Timberlake song again? <laughs> the Drown. It's like, Paradise is good as well. But... There, I just wanted to make, make sure I finished my coffee. Yeah. Well, uh, it's just me hitting the phone. <laughs> oh, okay. Woo! Yeah, I also mentioned to like a couple of co workers that I had, uh, had a copy of Breath of the Wild Legend of Zelda. And yeah, one of the coworkers wanted to try it, so I just gave them my Breath of the Wild copy. And I was like, hey, just give me 40 bucks, and then, yeah, you can have this copy. And then last night I ordered another copy of Breath of the Wild, so that, yeah, I can just go back to it anytime. So yeah. Uh, yeah, she had never played an adventure game like that, or a Legend of Zelda game, and she had a Switch, so she does want to try Tears of the Kingdom, but yeah, that's like an $80 game, so <laughs> practically gave her Breath of the Wild for like half price kind of thing, so she's like, I'll give you money for the game, it's like, yeah, you can have this copy, yeah, 40 Yep, all good. Done. <laughs> yep, so, I'm alright. Yeah, I can, yeah, just wait to get a copy of Breath of the Wild again. Yeah, I just ordered another one. <laughs> it's all good. Just so she didn't have to go searching for it, I'm more one who uh, searches for that kind of stuff, like music CDs and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just used to it. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I haven't played Tears of the Kingdom in a bit for a couple days anyway, but yeah. <laughs> it's thought I should get some diamond painting in, at least because I work tomorrow at the restaurant too, so. For a few hours. But yeah. Wow. There's quite a bit of down arrows in here. <laughs> okay. I'll just start here. On the jam or kind of diamond in the spine of the book here. Just go along the spine of the book here to fill in these down arrows. I'll just have to keep tabs on where they all are. Yeah, it makes life interesting. There's a nice color block of the 
upside down tees in this red book for sure. So definitely shades of red. Okay, I don't know if this will like, form any words or anything, but at yeah, some sort of printing or something on the spine of the book with this dark color now. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be legible necessarily, but. there yeah I'll just keep going uh, I might as well just pour more into the tray so I'll need more okay there we go oh I guess there's more 814 somewhere else oh yeah yeah this whole thick red book is like a good chunk of 814 here and there yeah okay that'll be why it's uh shading slash whatever printing is on the spine here yeah it's all good I think it's Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah days all just blend together. <laughs> just kind of look on my phone and see what day it is at this point. It's like, wow. Today certainly was a blur. <laughs> Felt like I was at work, but yeah, the hours just whisked right by pretty productive day so yeah I was busy so the hours just yeah drifted on by without me really noticing so that's good <laughs> there were quiet periods but not for terribly long amount of time Nice to have those little lulls. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Alright, next column here. Whoops, there we go. Yeah, I'll probably have to go on the indoor bike tonight to get my steps in for sure or get my distance challenged so I'll probably just listen to some music or something <laughs> kind of wish I had that Tetris for the N64 the new Tetris or whatever yeah playing Dr. Mario well on the exercise bike yeah it really makes the time go by it's really nice Ryan just Focusing on the TV screen instead of looking at the gauge on the bike. Yeah, I think that makes a huge difference. So, I'm kind of engaging my brain in a different way. Kind of problem solving. Yeah, basically like playing the Nintendo uh, version of Dr. Mario. Like you use the D pad and the A and B buttons. Yeah, on the N64 controller. Yeah, so it's really kind of cool. Yeah, just feels so natural to play a puzzle game like that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice that there's just like a regular Tetris on the N64. Yeah, I just kind of discovered it by accident. <laughs> Yeah, I had an N64 a few years ago, like before this one. Like, traded it in or something at one point to get a GameCube or something. Yeah. All those years ago. <laughs> but I got an N64 back. It's not like I have a huge library of N64 games by any means, but yeah. Yeah, just the retro games are making a comeback. People are wanting to either try out the retro games for the first time or just play them again. I don't know what the appeal is, like just the nostalgia. Yeah, probably partial that for me. The nostalgia factor. I don't know if the games are like just down to earth, like just complete, just as they are kind of games, straightforward. Nothing too fancy. <laughs> that must be it. <laughs> Yeah, I just want something that I can just sit down and play for like an hour or two. Yeah. Dr. Mario just like, or Tetris just fills in that gap there. Just 
just addresses that desire. <laughs> And it's not like I can whip through like 20 levels in Marathon for Dr. Mario. Yeah, I probably made it like to level 11 or so. It gets really difficult. More viruses in the bottle. And the bottle doesn't change size at all and like capsules just are a little more random <laughs> so you don't necessarily uh, get the colors that you need <laughs> yeah it's just red yellow and blue for the viruses that are in Dr. Mario yeah it's just the primary colors I thought there was like four colors but no yeah it's just the three I must be like thinking colors from like Tetris or something. Yeah, there's like four or five different colors for Tetris. Yeah, that's probably what's going on. The Tetromino pieces. Yeah. All right, yeah, the section kind of ends, yeah, like right here. Yeah, it's got to be careful not to get too carried away with the down arrows. <laughs> here with the oops down arrows up Oops, the adhesive was a little slippery there. It's interesting. Okay. okay, let's go. Yep, I can go up here. Ah, keep hitting the drill off the edge of the pen along the wall of the tree. It's having tons of fun today. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, Dr. Mario theme, go for your... themes just never leave your mind so you hear them multitude of times 
playing a game mindlessly for a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. We get all the down arrows yet? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Okay, we have uh, some more down arrows up here. <laughs> yeah, that's not confusing at all. <laughs> uh, of a color block here. Wondering if I should just fill in. Hmm. Yeah, just me bumping the drafting table again. There's any shaking on the phone. Okay. Like almost probably like every whip and chat, I managed to bump the drafting too. Yeah, <laughs> just a common kind of trade. Uh, I guess the sun must be hiding behind some clouds. There's white fluffy clouds outside, but yeah, you can still see tons of blue sky though. Just a beautiful spring day. Where it's like actually spring. <laughs> yeah, grass is starting to get its color back. It's starting to turn green again. Some down arrows along the top here. Oh yeah, that's probably how I determined what we're doing down arrows next. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Alright, but yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put the main website links to Conqueror and Pacer. This fitness incentive kind of apps. Do virtual challenges, various world locations or fictional locations. For example, Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's Conqueror mainly. And then Pacer is more real world locations kind of thing, virtually various paths, etc. I'm not affiliated or sponsored, but those are just main websites. I won't earn anything 
won't earn any commissions or anything so just there for the giggles yeah if you want any updates regarding echoes of color here yeah feel free to uh, click the notification bell to get notifications of various posts every once in a while section completions uh, pre canvas photos post finished photos the entire canvas and I give a summary of completed sections as I go along so you kind of get a visual uh, tour through the canvases so but other than that take care all the best with your crafting endeavors slash hobbies hopefully they're going well didn't mention that <laughs> hopefully it's all good and I will see you again soon. Bye.